So what is happening, people? Hey, guys, is your motor blocking your side scan? In today's video, I'm going to show you something very important to remember when you're side scanning, looking for fish or looking for structure. Very important. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so you can see right in front of me, there's a dock. So what I'm going to do to illustrate this is I have the boat positioned. I'm on side scan. I'm scanning out about 80 feet is what I'm scanning out. And I'm getting ready to turn the boat, and I'm going to go by this dock. You notice my motor is all the way down. And we're going to side scan it, and I'm going to let you see it to verify it get up to speed I usually run about three and a half to four okay so I'm gonna turn it and let you see it as we go by so there's the dock here's the side scan I know you got a little bit of a glare there so we're going right by this dock right now so we don't see any columns pillars I see a little bit of something right there not much I'm, now, now what we're going to do, I'm going to turn around, I'm going to go by the very same dock, and I'm going to let you see this with the motor adjusted up some. Now, I've noticed this in the past. I thought this may be a good video because when it first happened to me, I was wondering why my side scan did not pick up those columns. Sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't. Well, the issue was, when I'd go by docks on the right side of my boat, there's no motor over there. It would actually pick up. And so I put two and two together, and I was like, ah, something's blocking the signal. So we're going to circle around here, and we're going to go right back by the same dock. I try to, in my videos, to show you exactly what I'm doing so that you'll know that uh, this is true okay so we're gonna let the motor up here goes the motor up so we're gonna jack it up about there there's the same dock we're going right back by it and now we're gonna take a look at it boom i'll tell you when we get the transducer gets across from it okay it's coming across the front of it now now look at it oh uh, boom Made a huge difference, didn't it? Coming up on another dock, you see this dock up here in front of me? I'm running about four and a half miles per hour with 31 feet of water right now, as you can see. I know there's a lot of glare on the screen. The sun is actually behind me. Anyway, let's go by this second dock here. I always like to do, anytime on my YouTube videos, I like to do things twice just to prove that it is legitimate, if you know what I mean. Okay, so here's the dock coming up. We're running about four miles per hour. I'm looking at about 80 feet, and the transducer is almost at the back of the boat. We're gonna switch over now, and boom, you can see that dock there. There it is, right there. That's all the columns and the shadow lines. Okay guys, so here's the second thing I want to talk to you about on side scan that we just covered, keeping that motor up. I'm going to show you why it's important to raise that motor up a little bit while you're running side scan. Now you may see this on your boat, you may not, but for those who do, I do, for those who do, this is very important. So right now, you see my motor is down. And I'm going to do this just to prove it to you. Now, I'm going to show you the screen on side scan. I'm still running about 85 feet. So you notice right here, there's a dark line. It's a hump. So at one point, I wondered what that was. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to begin to raise the motor up. And I'm just cruising along. You see about six miles per hour. All right, I'm raising the motor up. See, I didn't raise the motor up far. See, motor's coming up. Now look at the screen, look at the difference. 
So it's allowing that beam to shoot out this way and it's not blocking the top of it. You see, I'm getting a much better picture there on side scan. Now I'm gonna let the motor back down, going down, just to prove it to you. Here it comes, boom. See that right there? Back up, just a little bit. And I didn't go up far, boom. So just a second tip, when you run inside scan, you know, I learned this by trial and error. Hey, we all learn by trial and error. That's just the way things are. Anyway, I hope this tip helps you too, run inside scan. You wouldn't think that that, that bottom of the motor would be in down would actually interfere with it, but it will. So if you run inside scan, just as a note, you run inside scan, raise that, tilt that motor up some, and uh, you know, allow that signal to get underneath that keel so you can actually see that dock on the side. I like side scan because I find a lot of structure. I can check a lot of area fairly quickly with side scan. You can see schools of fish. You can see fish on the bottom. You can find brim beds. You can check docks. Uh, side scan is a fantastic tool. I can cover a lot of water really quickly and I find a lot of offshore structure with side scan. So just remember that. Tip number two, baby. Boom. Guys, I hope you've seen something on the video that will help you. Hope you've seen something on the video that you enjoyed. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hey, it is free to subscribe to this channel. Remember, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Don't forget to hit the like button and click the notification bell and leave a comment. I enjoy seeing your comments. And you remember, it's a wild life, and I'll see you on the water. I'm getting ready to go catch a crappie on one of these docks up here. Be in a totally different video, but hey, let's go catch a fish. <laughs>